G'day guys, I'm out in this area because they're having problems with wild dogs. Let's see how we go. I'm not gonna muck around too much on this one. We'll jump back two weeks. I was on this exact same property. I've got a trail camera here and I'd been getting a few pings from a particular animal very late at night. So I dropped past on the way back from another job and this is what I found. I'm just trying to move through these cattle at the moment. I did see what I think is a dog further up this slope. But I don't wanna spook these guys. There's our dog. That's our dog number one down. Quick scan around though after firing the shot. Guess what I found? I've spotted one dog on the other side of the cattle. Little did I know that there was two. So I've dropped the first dog, 87 grain VMAX, into the boiler room, down it went. I've had a quick scan around with the binos well worth doing after a shot and this animal was trying to make a little bit of an escape up over the ridge those two dogs they were shot with my 6br that's my light rifle that i generally do my walking around with tonight though i don't have so far to wander in and i brought the heavy rifle this one hasn't been out at night yet i've just got a new pulsar krypton 2 thermal clip on on the front haven't run one of those brand new thing very keen to see how the Smurf gun, as we've named this one, it's a JCPD Arms Elite Series 2. It's a 24 inch carbon six barrel on the front, chambered in 6.5 PRC. If a dog does come in tonight, well, let's just see how this cartridge performs on one. It's nearly dark, although not ideal. I did want to be behind those trees in the background there, but the wind's no good. So I've had to set up out here in the open. I'm about 150 meters off that back tree line up there sitting high on the tripod nice and comfortable let's just see what happens I love it when a plan works, and that one certainly did. I sat on that hillside for about an hour, and this young female wild dog wandered in. So it does upset people a little bit. When I do these control jobs, you just need to understand that these animals are out here doing livestock damage to the property owners. So it's completely within the regulations. What we are doing, I know it upsets the dingo lovers, and so be it, but these animals do not mix with livestock. That's uh, government opinion as well by the way not just mine uh, i won't show you the damage on this animal i'm firing hornady 147 grain eldm projectiles they'll reload at a tad over 3000 feet per second out of the 65 prc as you could imagine very ethical very big hole quite the mess but job done that's going to be a wrap on this one. I won't butter things up too much. I can't make it any more than it is, even though you guys like a longer format content. I'm still really happy to get three wild dogs off this property, and so is the owner. What did I think of the Krypton for the first run? Look, it's different to using a thermal scope, I'll say that. The field of view is quite narrow. I am running a reasonably high magnification scope. It's a 4.5 to 27. So even on its lowest magnification at 4.5, it does cut out a fair bit of that field of view. So I hope the recording does capture everything. I believe it will, because it doesn't show what I see through the eyepiece with the reticle. But I might need to look at a different scope if i'm going to do this a little bit more often if i'm completely honest something with a little bit of a lower mag so something in that two to three range at the lower end but anyway that's something to work on if you did like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up ensure you subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my patreon and i'll see everyone next time